point by serial correlation coefficient is a type of correlation that measures the strength of association between a continuous level variables or the ratio or interval data and a binary uh, variable. So binary variables are variables of nominal scale having only two possible values. They are also called the Chotomos variables. Given two variable sets in which X is the continuous variable and Y is the, the, the Chotomos uh, variable, the formula for the point by serial correlation coefficient is equals to rho XY is equals to fraction var, yung numerator natin is x bar sub 1 minus x bar sub 2 over yung ating sx or x sub x, which is the standard deviation of all x values, times the square root of uh, n sub 1 times n sub 2 over n times quantity n minus 1. So ito yung ating point by serial correlation coefficient. Okay, yung x bar sub 1, yun yung uh, mean, mean ng x. Okay? When y is equals to 1 or those labeled with 1. Yung uh, x bar sub 2 naman, yun naman yung x, uh, mean x, if y is equals to 2, ito, y is equals to 1, or those labeled with 2. Yung n sub 1 natin is equals to the uh, sample labeled 1 in Y. So, ito yun. So, samples 1. And then, yung uh, N sub 2 natin is, syempre, yan yung ating magiging samples 2. And then, yung X sub X is equals to the standard deviation or yung ating SD of all X values. So, example, for girls, uh, four girls and five boys of grade 12, so we have a student, set of students. Okay. So next column, sinabi kasi may uh, male and female, di ba? May girls and boys. So meron tayong gender and then yung result nila. Okay. Okay. So four girls and five boys of grade 12 took uh, a 20 item mathematics achievement test. The results are given below. Compute the correlation coefficient of the girl's score and the boy's score in the set of data using ito nga um, visorial, uh, point visorial correlation coefficient. So we have nine uh, grade 12 students. Ilagay natin yung N natin na 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and of course yung ating last is 9. Now, yung gender natin is hindi natin alam. So, student A pala is girl, okay, with a score of 10. And then, yung student 2 is boy with uh, the result of 9. And the third uh, student is also boy with result of 10. Yung uh, fourth student is girl with the result of 17. And then, so on. Yung uh, student 5 is boy with 18. Next is girl with 8, next is girl, with 10, next is boy, with 12, next is boy with 19. So, it recheck natin, apat yung girl. So, ito, isa, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? And then, lima yung boys. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? So, after that, <clears throat> na nakuha natin yung result niya, kunin natin yung kanyang main nung uh, or yung ating x bar sub 1, or yung mean x when y is equals to 1. So, paano natin makukuha yun? So, kunin muna natin, say for instance, na yung x sub 1 natin is yung um, Okay. Okay. Yung uh, mean x natin, ang gagawin natin na x sub 1 is yung girls. Ayan, para hindi magulo. So, erase ko muna ito. Tapos yung x sub 2 natin, yun naman yung boys. Okay? So, apat lang naman yung nasa girls. So, i 
Kunin lang natin yung mean niya. So, this, uh, that is 10. Okay, ng calculator. 10 plus 17 plus 8 plus 10. 45 divided by 4. This will give us 11.25. So, ilagay ko na siya dito, no? Kasi, ano naman siya. Okay? So, yung x bar, sub 1 natin, is equals to 11.25. So, hindi ko na siya tinali sa table, ha? Kahit hindi nyo na ilagay sa table na yan. Okay, para hindi tayo mag-aksaya ng ano, column, ilabas na lang natin siya. Ito na lang sa baba. Okay? So, yung x bar 1, yung girls, is 11.25. For G yan, ah. And then, yung x bar sub 2 is equals to uh-huh. 13.6. Ito naman yung limang boys. Okay, so next is, copy mo lang yung result ito. Tapos, uh, mag-add ka ng another column. Tapos, ilalagay natin yung x minus yung ating x bar. So, ano ba yung ating x bar dito? Siyempre, yung total, yung x bar natin, na wala siyang sub. Okay, so x bar is equals to, eto yun. So, this would uh, equals to 12 point uh -huh. 5.5 5.6 Or to simply this is equal to 12.55 Okay So ilalagay natin yan dyan Then subtract mo lang 10 minus 12.55 This will give us negative 2.55 9 minus 12.55 is equals to negative 3.55. Next is negative 2.55. Next is 4.44. And then 5.44. Negative 4.55. And negative 2.55 ulit. Then 0. Uh, negative 0 0.55. And then last is 6.44. Ito yung ating x minus x bar. Tapos, i-squared mo yan. Kasi meron tayong squared yan, di ba? So, yun. Para mahanap natin yung squared value niya. Although, hindi natin siya ilalagay sa formula, pero pwede mo siyang kunin. So, x minus x bar squared. So, squared mo lang ito. So, this is equal to 6.53, 12.64, then 6.53, and 19.75, and 19.65, 20.65, 6.5, 0.30, 1, then 41.53. And the total niyan is equals to 144.22. Kasi sometimes sa ating uh, SAQ ay hinahanap natin yung summation of x minus x bar squared. Okay? So ngayon, para makuha natin yung point by serial uh, coefficient niya, so i-substitute lang natin yung ating data. Ayan. Meron pala tayong ano, standard deviation. Di ba remember nyo pa? Yung standard deviation natin is equals to S sub X is equals to square root of summation ng X uh, minus X bar squared over N minus 1. Ayan. So, kaya nga hinanap natin yung summation ng X minus X bar squared na yun. So, this would uh, equals to square root of 144.22 over 9 minus 1. Kasi yung 9 natin is yung N, di ba? So yung standard deviation natin is equals to 
2459. Ayan. So, meron tayong x, s sub x, meron din tayong n. Yung n natin is 9. Meron din tayong x bar sub 1 at saka x bar sub 2. Ayan. Pwede na tayong mag-substitute dito sa formula. Rho x, y is equals to yung x bar sub 1 natin, which is 11.25. Minus 13.6 over yung SX natin or yung standard deviation which is 4.2459 times the square root of, uh, we have uh, yung N1 natin is girls, di ba? So, apat lang sila. So, this would equals to 4 times 5 over 9 times 9 minus 1. Simplifying equation, this will give us rho XY is equals to negative 0 0.1957. Okay, so ito yung ating hinahanap. So in this case, sa ating uh, student assessment question, meron dyan na, ang hinahanap lang naman dyan is yung x bar sub 1, x bar sub 2, yung standard deviation. So syempre, pag maghanap tayo ng standard deviation, you have to find first the summation of x, uh, the quantity x minus x bar squared para mahanap mo yung standard deviation. Ito. Okay? And then, uh, finally, yung ating rho xy or yung ating point by serial uh, correlation coefficient. 